Okay, everybody, so we're gonna, we got our new banjo here. We're gonna try to mount the hide on this gourd banjo. So, just throw the neck to the side. I've got a goat hide here that's been soaked for a few minutes and sort of patted dry with a, with a cloth. Uh, I'm gonna lay it down the way I want it. And then I'm gonna lay my gourd down on top. Okay, now I've got a nice fat needle on some cheap dental floss. And I'm gonna see if I can see if I can mount start stitching this thing together. Okay, and that's it. It's done. I needed to use a pair of pliers, a pretty fat needle which got bent up, and a lot of dental floss. But use the dental floss because it's cheap and it won't break. The, the animal hide will, will, will tear before the dental floss tears. And that's what you're going for. Get it as smooth as you can. When you get a wrinkle like this, you try to try to work it out. Try to thread it right where the wrinkle is and pull that and work it out and try to just keep doing that until you get as many of the wrinkles. I mean, I could keep doing that. I may keep stitching on this. There's a few spots I could keep pulling. Also, one step I forgot to do, I'm kicking myself, was always want to take a little bit of, um, I've got some laying around here somewhere, but just some cheap Elmer's glue, just cheap like school kids glue, Elmer's glue, and rub that on the rim. That, and that's the first thing you do before you lay it down and start stitching. That will help with these wrinkles. These, it'll, it'll encourage it to hug the gourd more. So it'll make it lay down better. I forgot to do that, so whatever. Um, I have ways later on, I, if I have a spot that's, that's rising up too much, I can put a little glue underneath it and press it down and try to work that out later on. Okay, everybody. Thanks for looking.